Welcome to Creamer Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, investors very positive on South Africa's unity government and high hopes for potentially game-changing technology at Platinum Group Metal Mines. Amongst all Pallinghurst investors, there's a very broad support for South Africa's Government of National Unity initiative. I think that it is absolutely the right thing that the politicians are doing. I think that they have been thinking outside the box. They have been thinking more about what is in the best interest of the country. And to me, it's absolutely clear that a signal of a government of national unity is, is the only way to go. And amongst all our investors, there is a uh, very broad support for, for this initiative. And uh, I, I really hope that it will see the rates coming down and, and uh, the rent getting some muscles back. Development of an innovative new mining method for narrow, tabular, steep, dipping ore bodies has reached an advanced stage after four years of effort. I'm excited to talk to you about our innovative um, reef point technology that we've developed with our partners. It's been an interesting journey over the past four years, and I'm looking forward to sharing our progress challenges and the potential that this technology holds for the industry. Our main goal was to find a mechanized mining solution to extract um, UG2 reef more selectively and efficiently, particularly in our narrow tabular ore bodies in our case, uh, Medikwan Bakoni. At Medikwan Bakoni, nature has given us a gift with the PGM ounces concentrated in a very narrow 60 centimeter reef width. However, due to limitations in technology and mining methods, we typically only end up mining at twice that width, about 120 centimeters, which leads up to 100% uh, waste dilution. The surrounding peroxide waste does contain some PGM ounces, but not nearly as much as the UG2 reef. We explored various mining methods and ultimately choose reef boring as the best solution. This method allows us to mine high-grade reef selectively whilst minimizing waste dilution. And it also offers the potential for mechanization and eventual automation. However, one of the main challenges of reef boring, which has been extensively uh, tried in the past, has been to, to achieve sufficient production volumes to make a meaningful and significant impact on the overall PGM production. For example, if a machine can only do 1,000 to 2,000 tons of high-grade reef per month, the PGM content that you recover is too low to meaningful contribute to the bottom line or the mine's production levels. To overcome this, um, Armour set ourselves a target to achieve the same productivity, safety, and cost performance as a mechanized, low-profile board and pillar operation in a narrow tabular ore body, um, such as Two Rivers Mine. We based our targets on the performance of a typical mechanized stoping crew uh, at a board and pillar operation, where you would typically achieve 15,000 tons per month. And in the case of Two Rivers, uh, um, of a grade of about 3.3 grams per ton 6E, which gives you the equivalent of about 50 kilograms of PGMs per month, or about 1,600 ounces. With these objectives that we set ourselves, we would not only be mining selectively and eliminating waste, but also we'll be mining at a scale that positively impacts the overall production levels. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.